Hello, hello. My name's Jen and I'm on a 100 pound weight loss journey. This is Jack. He's also on a little weight loss journey of himself because he's a bit of a chonk, but that's a different story. <laughs> I've lost about 50 pounds so far and I'm going to be trying Whole30 for the month of August. How I lost my first 50 pounds. So before I got pregnant, I weighed 202 pounds and that would have been like very end of 2017 and throughout my pregnancy I gained 34 pounds so that brings me to 236 at 37 weeks pregnant and then I gave birth a few days after that to my daughter Nora. Two weeks after that um, I was shocked to weigh myself and be 26 pounds below the 236 so it was at 210 pounds and obviously having the baby she you know she weighs something <laughs> and then you have the placenta and the fluids couple that with eating hospital food for a week that was super gross um I don't think I ate as much as I normally do that week compared to like what I eat at home so yeah, I was really surprised that I lost 26 pounds and obviously I was stoked. <laughs> and from September till the end of December, I lost like just five more pounds. I wasn't really like focusing on weight loss. I have a newborn, which if you've had a baby or take this as a warning is so tiring and kind of stressful because you're really like new to the game and you don't really know what you're doing. So anyways, um, once January hit, I thought it would be a good idea to like focus more on my weight loss and on my health. Um, I want to be a really good example for my daughter. And part of that is being a healthy weight. So I basically have done a few things over the last six, seven months to get to my halfway point of a 50 pound weight loss. So I tried OMAD for a few weeks. Um, OMAD is means one meal a day. So you would eat all your calories typically within a one hour window. It gave me a lot of flexibility with what to eat, but I did find that I was, because it was only one time a day, like I would could get away with eating pizza for dinner or not eating necessarily like a wide range of healthy food, um, pizza not included. So. Yeah, I found with OMAD, what I liked about it is that you would like never go over your calories. I think that'd be super hard to do in a one hour window. But what I didn't like about it is if you chose to have an unhealthy meal for dinner, your calories for that whole day would be unhealthy, if you know what I mean. Um, and then I've tried and still do intermittent fasting with a 16 hour fast window and an eight hour eating window. So I eat um, all my calories within an eight hour window and I find that works much better for me. And currently I do that about five days a week. I would like to do it every day, but if I eat a crappy, not nutritionally dense meal the night before, I'm not able to make it the full 16 hour fasting period. I was on say March, so a few months ago I started running and I've been able to work my way up from about a one and a half kilometer run to a regular five kilometer run. So I'm very proud of that. And who knew someone who used to hate running could love running. So why do I think I should do Whole30 if, you know, things have been going really well? And the truth is, is I hit my 50 pound, actually it was 51 pound weight loss at the end of June. And I felt like just ecstatic and it was like over the middle point you're over the hump so you feel so good um and then in july i almost like subconsciously rewarded myself both with food and kind of allowing myself to slack on my running and my weight training yeah i'm at a point where i'm like i need to kind of like kick myself in the butt i don't really have any excuses anymore um my daughter is amazing she sleeps through the night i don't have a reason not to have my health and exercise routine in check. So I want to do like a diet reset, which is what Whole30 basically is. It's an elimination diet and you cut out a lot 
of amazing food. <laughs> so you cut out sugar, both natural and refined. You cut out refined carbohydrates. Um, sorry, this fucking fly is really annoying. <laughs> um, you cut out dairy. You cut out like any preservatives that are in food. So like MSG would be an example. No soy, no legumes, no beans. So basically you can eat meat, fruit, vegetables, nuts and seeds, and coconut oil and olive oil is allowed, as well as ghee, which is clarified butter. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a big change. I do eat a lot of healthy food. I love fruit, I love vegetables, um, but I also really love chocolate and I love baking. So um, giving up sugar will be tough. And I'm also a big pizza fan, like I think a lot of people are. So cheese will be hard to give up. And with this diet, you can't even use the plant-based cheeses. So yeah, I'm ready to see how it goes. I think it's gonna be really hard, but I think it's gonna be worthwhile. And I'm going to post an updated video each week, kind of in like a vlog style, sharing how the week went and anything else I find. So if you're interested in following along with my 100 pound weight loss journey, um, just subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified when new videos come out each week. Like a fly buzzing around here. Ooh. Jack, you wanna say hi? Say meow, meow. He's like, stop that mom. Anyways.